Hello everybody, my name is Naim. Welcome to the new language is a new life. Speaking Farsi, part one. This is the simplest way for you if you are speaking English and you are interested to learn Farsi. So in this session, we're going to cover how you say the pronouns and how you make a simple sentence in the past tense. So let's start with different pronouns. We call it man, to, u, ma, shoma, anha, or una. I, you, he, she, it. We, you, they. So if you want to say I, you say man. To, the first point is, which is different from English, if you want to say you as a one individual, you say to. This is, this is not to, this is to. But if you want to say you as multiple people, you say shoma. Man, to, u. The second point is there is no discrimination between he, she, or it in Farsi language. All of them are, are being pronounced like u. Man, to, u. Ma, shoma, ha, shoma. Anha or una. And whenever I put like double A's here, it means that I'm gonna show you that it's called, it's pronounced like ah, like ma, shoma, anha or una. Well, the first step was learning how to say the pronouns. The second step is how to make a simple past tense sentences. So the difference between Farsi and English here is in English you use the past version of the verb for all parties. Like you say I did, you did, he did, she did, they did. You don't change the verb. The verb is did. But in Farsi not only we change the pronouns but also we change the verbs in the past tense. So I'm gonna show you how you can change the verbs. So the first step is to learn how to make the root structure part of the verb in the past tense in Farsi. So we take the infinitive version of the verb, which is to do. In Farsi, it means Kardan. If you want to say to do in Farsi, you'd say Kardan. And basically, all the infinitive versions of the verb in Farsi will end with an. So, all of the, the infinitive versions in Farsi have an at the end. Like in English, you say to do, to be, to go, to come. In Farsi, has Kardan, Amadan, etc., etc. So it ends up with an at the end. So it's like mathematics, it's easy. You remove the an at the end of infinity version and it becomes like a card. This is called the root of the structure of the past tense. So with knowing that, we can just easily make a sentence. Like, you want to say he did, or she did, or it did. You say, u, u, kard. Means he did in the past tense. 
But the, 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 the difference is only when you're saying the third party, the third person, you don't change the root. For the other versions like man, to, ma, shoma, una, you change the verb based on the root. So for example, you say man, kar, dam. You add this am at the end of the, the root of the verb and you make a simple past tense. Man, kar, dam. To, kar, di. For the second part, for you, you add I at the end. And for the third person, you add nothing. Third person is good to go. Man, karda. To, kardi. U, kar. Ma, kardim. Again, for ma or we, we use im. Shoma. Kardid. For you, as a plural, some people, you use id. Una. Kardand. Use and at the end. So basically, these are the simple sentences in the simple past tense in Farsi. We use the pronouns at the beginning, we use the root part of the verb, and then we add some addings or suffix to the root of the verb to make it just make sense. Like man, kardam, to, kardi, u, kar, ma, kardim, شما کردید اونا کردند So let's practice with another, another verb another verb for example uh, to go in English in Farsi it means رفتن like I said in the infinity part of the verbs in Farsi it ends up with an so, raftan means to go. So, the first step for making a sentence is finding the root of the verb, which is removing this an at the end, and you make raft. This is the root of the verb. Now, we're going to make some simple sentences. We say, man, raft. Pronoun, the root version of the verb, and the adding. To, rap, t. U, raft. Means that I went, you went, she or he or it went. Now, you guys tell me for me how we can just make make a sound like we went. Ma, rap, team. Ma, rap, team. Shoma, rap, id. Una. Ra-tan. Again, you put the pronouns, you put the root version of the verb, and you add the addings. Am, e, nothing, im, id, and. Man, raftan. To, rafti. U, raft. Ma, raftin. Una, shoma, raftid. Una, raftan. See, that's a simple. 
So for the next session, uh, please practice some verbs. I'm going to give you some infinity version of the verbs. You should just make, find the root structure of these verbs and then make six simple past sentences. For example, with Raftan means to go, Kardan means to do, Budan means to be, Shodan means to become, Amadan Again, when you put two A's, it, it's called A. Ah. To come. Residen. To arrive. Khordan. To eat. That's a little bit challenging. Khordan. When you put K, H next to each other in Farsi, you pronounce that Kh, Khor, Dan. And what else? Like Khun, Dan. To Re. Khun, Dan. Okay, guys, thank you and uh, I'll see you in the next session for part two in Farsi. Please subscribe me in YouTube.